JLR here. Who leaked the Roe v. Wade opinion to the media? Uh, we heard a couple days ago that the Roe v. Wade opinion uh, was made by five of the justices in favor of overturning Roe v. Wade. Um, the issue at hand is that this opinion was leaked out to the media before it became an actual opinion. It was a draft opinion. It was a uh, behind the scenes, you know, vote between the Supreme U.S. Supreme Court justices. But the question is, who leaked that opinion out? And uh, I found an invest. Uh, found an interesting thread on Twitter uh, by a Will Chamberlain. Uh, he's a good journalist. Um, he, you know, I follow him on Twitter, and he has an interesting thread. And I'm going to read down this thread. Um, it's definitely worth checking out, uh, definitely worth seeing. Uh, I will read it to you and go down the line. Meet Elizabeth Douche. She's currently a law clerk for Justice Breyer. And in my humble opinion, she's the most likely person to have leaked the draft Supreme Court opinion in Dobbs, purporting to overturn Roe v. Wade. And he attached a uh, LinkedIn account. Elizabeth Douche, law clerk at U.S. Supreme Court. But first, a disclaimer. I have no inside information. This thread is speculation based almost entirely on publicly available information. I could easily be wrong. Cool? Cool. And I agree. This, this post here and this video here is speculation reading off of someone else's speculation. Uh, her academic background isn't that uncommon for Supreme Court clerks. Yale undergrad, Yale Law, and two British master degrees from LSE and Cambridge. Do note the master's degree in gender. At the top there, uh, Elizabeth Douche, she, her, law clerk. Here's where things start to get interesting. Every law student has to write a note, a long legal research paper, usually making a novel argument about the law. Elizabeth Douche wrote hers about reproductive rights and abortion. So Elizabeth Douche uh, has, you know, written about abortion in the past. Um, this was one of her uh, long legal research paper. Specifically, she argued that Obamacare's non-discrimination provision should be interpreted to force Catholic hospitals to perform emergency abortions. Aggressive argument. And hey, law students make aggressive argument. So she's arguing that the Catholic uh, uh, hospital sh should perform emergency abortions. While in law sco school, she wrote a New York Times op-ed about reproductive rights, sensing a theme here. Uh, her career page on LinkedIn doesn't reveal that much until we start digging a little further. First, thanks to her New York Times wedding announcement, of course, we know that she clerked for Judge Nina Pillard. Pillard was one of the D.C. Circuit judges appointed by Obama and forced through by Harry Reid blowing up the filibuster. She's pro-choice, perhaps not shocking. After her clerkships, she got a Gruber Fellowship at the ACLU for a full year. What was she working on? You guessed it, abortion and reproductive rights. And you see there... But none of this proves anything. Yes, Douche's career seems pretty focused on abortion. But without some connection to Josh Gerstein, the journalist who received the leak opinion, there would be no reason to suspect her. Let's go back to that New York Times wedding announcement. The bride and groom met at Yale. She is a lawyer. He is a journalist. Isaac Arnsdorf just got hired by the Washington Post as a national political reporter. Of course, he's on the Trump beat. Um, attached his articles that he has write, uh, written with the Washington Post. But where has he written in the past? Oh, look, he wrote for Politico, sharing a byline with Josh Gerstein. So attached here is a byline article uh, that both Gerstein and Isaac Arnstorf have written together. Uh, looks like Gerstein and... They are still bros, chatting on Twitter, interacting as recently as last year. So um, 
and attached to some tweets between Josh Gerstein and Isaac Arnstorf, who were replying to his tweets um, on Twitter. Uh, so to conclude, we have a currently serving Supreme Court law clerk whose career has been almost solely for focused on abortion. She wrote her law school note on abortion. She wrote op-eds about reproductive rights. She spent a year working on abortion for the ACLU. She clerked for pro-choice appellate judge, and it just so happens that her husband is a journalist who shares bylines with Josh Gerstein at Politico, and it looks like they are still buds. I don't know that Elizabeth Juice leaked the draft opinion, but I certainly think someone who has spent much of their academic and professional life fighting to expand the right to get abortion could be desperate enough to do so. So there you have it, guys. You, you guys got to go check out this thread. Uh, was Elizabeth Douche the leaker um, who leaked the uh, opinion, Roe v. Wade opinion, to her husband, Isaac Arnsdorf, who happens to be buds with the political reporter Josh Gernstein, who um, published the, you know, opinion. Uh, it's created an uproar. If that's true, I mean, somebody has to be charged. That has to be a crime. Uh, no opinion in the U.S. Supreme Court has ever been leaked out before like that. Um, that's a violation mm -hmm. of trust. Um, it should be looked at. Um, so let me let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know what you think.